The man who the internet named Bodega Bro went viral due to some TikToks. Bro, that's not a grocery store. And it's safe to say his character arc is quite fascinating, so today I thought we'd sit back, relax, and go through the story of Bodega Bro, who I like to call Brodega. It all started with this video. Okay, so I just moved to New York, and I'm trying to go grocery shopping, and so I type in, like, grocery stores on my Apple Maps, and, like, every one I go to, like, I'm walking, too, like, they're like this or, like, like this like bro that's not a grocery store like i'm trying to get like egg yogurt like cheese like that right like look at this place hey yo ak, let me get a bacon egg and cheese the hockey way <laughs> like you know those tiktoks like i'm i'm fucking doing it now. like i've literally been to like five of those now <laughs> and like i don't know what the I'm about to do for dinner like where are the Kroger's and like the Whole Foods at like I'm about to eat like like cereal and ramen for dinner like what I'm getting some pretty big CTE energy from him but also I don't feel like he's really doing anything wrong here big fan of Brendan job moment <laughs> <laughs> he's clearly not from a big city and he's just documenting his experience without being socially aware at all but this video got him a lot of backlash and if anything this video just proves that he doesn't know how to use Google Maps like if you want a conventional supermarket you type supermarket instead of store but I feel like he's just ranting about this area that's new to him trying to be funny and to my my understanding he wasn't being too serious but TikTok took heavily offense to that and ended up getting him fired so apparently he worked at a company by the name of outreach and some internet stalker figured out that he was working at that company so that internet stalker essentially tweeted at this company asking for this guy to be fired this person clearly is the real life embodiment of randall from recess but of course they deleted their tweet once the guy was fired but my main question is from what we saw what exactly did he do to lose his right to make a living fired for being ignorant that sounds about 2022 because of all of this hate he got from the original bodega video he created this video okay so if you came here from twitter you may know me as bodega bro i made a video that got taken way out of context so i went off private to show you guys what bodega bro is really all about also if you know anybody that's hiring tech sales or needs a workout partner in new york let me know um can i get four bacon egg and cheese rolls and four chopped cheese rolls Can't forget the bands. The thing that I just find crazy about the internet is like somehow people are going to be mad at this video. It's like, oh, my bad, guys. Like, I'm feeding the people that look like they're going through a lot and might not be able to afford their next meal. Like, me, right? And it's probably going to be like user 187624 with like one follower and no profile picture or somebody with like no posts and like a cartoon cat is like their profile picture or something random. Like where do these internet trolls come from? One of the dudes there was definitely not homeless. I also love how this man's grabbing plantains like they're bananas. But E for effort. Like, I feel like he did a good thing here. This is a million times better than going on to TikTok and ranting about how some upset people on Twitter got him fired. Instead of that, he went out and did some charity. People saw one side of him from his original TikTok, and I guess he wanted to show people the other side. I see a lot of people complaining about this video, saying he only did this to film it. And, I mean, at the end of the day, he still gave away food. Just because he filmed it doesn't take take away that he did a good thing. But no matter how many good things you do, if you break the law and go viral on TikTok, that's not a good combination. Because yes, this story has yet another odd twist. Because our guy Brodega was apparently arrested in Michigan as a fugitive from justice and he's being extradited to Ohio to face charges for felonious assault. <laughs> Man, the plot thickened. See, that's a legitimate reason to get fired. Not what he filmed on TikTok originally. Fire him for that. Circuit court for the county of Oakland, the people of the state of Michigan,
Michigan versus Griffin Green. Sounds like a made up name. Yeah, it kind of does. Is charged in the state of Ohio with extraditable crime of felonious assault and said complaining witness has probable cause to believe in suspect. That said, defendant is a fugitive from justice and has fled from the <laughs> aforementioned state. And that said, defendant is now found. Why are you making TikToks if you're a wanted felon? Like, bro, what is going on here? So yeah, that's an interesting story and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.